Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. So today's video is going to be a Christmas DIY. I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these inexpensive glam garlands for only $12 with products I bought all from Dollar Tree and Walmart. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that big subscribe button on your way out as well. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, you'll need a couple packs of garland from Dollar Tree as well as two packs of their 20 count lights. I did end up choosing clear, but they do have color lights. You'll also need two packs of their small ornaments. I used 14 in total, 12 do come in a pack. And a pack of these extra tree limbs. I'm not really sure what they're called, you guys. I did have them from last year. You'll also need a set of four floral arrangements. I picked these champagne points set us up from Walmart for 97 cents a piece and the paint I also got for Walmart for 198 but you can also get some white paint from Dollar Tree for a dollar you also need a hot glue gun and one hot glue stick as well as a paintbrush and a paint dish to put your paint in so starting off I am taking the garland out of their package and I'm just going to go ahead and stretch them out a little bit. I did not show that footage of me doing that because it was out of frame since I was recording this by myself on my phone but I'm going to tell you guys how I did it. Once I got it all straightened out I then fold the garland into two and then I put it on the floor and put my foot in between it and just stretched it out really well and then I folded it into to twos again so I had it folded into fours in total and it just made this really beautiful short shape that you see here and I used these extra tree limbs from Dollar Tree to go ahead and tie the garland up and hold it together exactly how I wanted it just so it wouldn't fall apart or anything since it is just a bunch of limbs you do have to tie it up so it can hold together so that's what you see me doing here I'm just going ahead and putting that tree limb through every limb of the garland and securing it all together basically until it's nice and flat and together and yeah now I am in better frame I did realize I was out of frame a little bit so you guys will get to see exactly how I put the limb through the garland so it can stay intact so you can do it as well Once I get done basically putting all the limbs together, then I fluff out the garland just to make it look exactly how I want. And that's how it looks like before you tie it and after. So you guys see that getting these tree limbs or whatever they are from Dollar Tree really does make a difference in this DIY project. And I think I ended up using a three and a half in total. Yes, I ended up using three and a half in total for both garlands. I did have three long limbs on each and then I had one extra limb so I just cut it in half and tied it in the middle of each garland just to make sure it was really secure and how I wanted it. I know more do come in these packs. I did use them for something else I think I made last year but once you get done this is what your garland will end up looking like really beautiful and full and gorgeous so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and make the second one real quick and we can go ahead into going into the next part of this DIY so I am in much better frame for making the second garland and this part is really important. I forgot to tell you guys for the first one, but you do have to remember to tie the ends of your garlands together. There is two ends just so one side of your garland doesn't end up falling apart on you and once you get it stretched out, you can start going ahead and fluffing out the garland and manipulating the wire until it's fluffy in exactly the way you want it before you go ahead and put your tree limbs in and tie all of those pieces together and once you do have the tree limbs in you guys you can go ahead and fluff it after that as well just to have it exactly the way you want it the fluffing part is what makes the garland and what 
really just makes the project end up turning out really beautifully. I did fluff this for probably 20-30 minutes, but I didn't show the whole clips just because I know it would get tiring to see. But I am showing you guys exactly how I went around looping the tree limbs around the garland, around every limb, just to make sure they all stay together and did not fall apart because we are going to go ahead and paint it and add ornaments onto it as well. Once you have your final limb in, this is what your garland should look like at the end of it, really put together, no gaps, no holes in between it. They should really hold it together. Now we're going to go ahead into painting it. I wanted it to look like a little bit of a faux snow type of effect. So I wanted to go ahead and brush some white paint onto the garlands just because I thought it looked really pretty that way. Um, it is from Dollar Tree, like I said. So the green on the garland do look a little cheap. So I feel like doing this helped the garland look more expensive and like I paid money for it, which I did pay money for it, but it looks more store-bought when you do this. But if you are more into greenery and not into the faux snow look you can go ahead and skip this step you don't have to do it but I do feel like it did end up making the garland look a lot more prettier and stand out on my countertops on my entertainment center since we do have black countertops but if you do want to go ahead and do this part of the DIY as well make sure you're using a big paintbrush like I am right now. This is just a big cheap paintbrush that I got from Walmart. I think it was $2.97 or $4.97. I don't want to lie or tell tales. But yeah, once you use a big brush like this, it makes it really easy to just get the paint everywhere, a full coat, coat everywhere on every limb that you want to get it on. And I also painted the sides of the garland as well as a little bit of the bottom, but not really the whole bottom. I did leave the bottom green just because I didn't want it to get super messy on my countertops because I did find out that I was using chalk paint a little bit later and it is so messy, you guys. So I do recommend not using chalk paint when you are using white paint. Now on to what I feel like what really made this DIY and these garlands just what they are and that's adding the lights. So I got a pack of these 20 lights from Dollar Tree and I got them in clear just because the whole ambiance of our house is almost clear lights but we do have some red and other colors mixed into it but I figured the clear would look a lot better on these garlands because I do plan on always using these year round so I did not want to get tired of the festive green and orange and red lights but if that is what you particularly like in your style then go for it so yeah i'm just going ahead and stringing these lights into the garland i just have them not really tied in but i really just tuck the lights into each little limb and fold it into there and just pull the cord all the way through until it's at the end of the garland and basically just make it look like it's always been there and I just feel like it gave the garland just a really beautiful look at the end of it and if you want to actually go ahead and leave them like that you can because they do look really pretty as is but I am extra so I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more things starting off with these champagne poinsettias that I got from Walmart. They were 97 cents a piece, so I paid under $4 for all four of them. So this DIY project is really cheap and really affordable, you guys. I almost bought a couple garlands from Big Lots. They were really pretty, but they only had faux snow on them and 
I think a couple pine cones and that was it and there were $20 no ornaments no anything so I did still have to add my lights or ornaments at the end of it and this just ended up costing way less I'm so glad I did not buy them so yeah I did end up paying $12 for this whole project but not really because I did have the ornaments at home and the tree limbs now we're gonna go ahead and place our ornaments just exactly how we want it before you glue it down just because since you are gonna glue it down it is gonna permanently be like that you want to make sure you have everything exactly the way you want so you do see me and my fiance just going around and just judging some things up a little bit changing some ornaments here putting them there because he did end up gluing the ornaments for me I did have to stop and make dinner it was getting really late so he did not know that he had to film him gluing the ornaments in the frame of the camera he didn't really know exactly how the camera was positioned so he did get out of frame a little bit but I did go ahead the next morning and just record a little clip for you guys just to show y'all exactly what you need to do just have your hot glue gun heated up and put a little dab of glue not too much on the ornaments and stick the ornaments down in the garland head first just so the part where you hook your ornaments or put the hooks into it just does not show you want just the bottom of the ornaments to show and the next morning I also went ahead and put the rest of the poinsettias onto this garland I do recommend doing that before you glue your ornaments just so you don't risk knocking an ornament out of place I did almost lose an ornament there guys that was it for this DIY this is how the garlands ended up looking at the end of it all and I just think they ended up turning out really pretty for just everything that I got being a dollar and a little bit cheaper than that so yeah this is how they ended up looking on our overall entertainment center I think they just brought the whole living room in together really nice and beautifully so if you guys like this video and as well as decided to do this DIY don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below as well as follow me on Pinterest I will have that information down below and show me your version of this DIY as well and I will see you guys in the next video Bye guys.